Should I start uh, creaming, creaming the butter and Let's sugar? Let's do that. I mean, what I think is great about this too is that these days a lot of people have different needs and whatever. This can be gluten free. I mean, is really, oh, it, which oh. is quite useful as long as you get gluten free baking powder. Yeah, that's powder. that's good. And yeah. that's that useful. I mean, I like it just because I like it, but that's very good. Oh. I shall start. But while you're doing that, I'm going to mix. You see, I'm going to mix some almond flour, or just ground almonds, I call them, and some fine cornmeal. Beautiful, oh, it's lovely so colours. Yeah. So when it when the skies grow a bit greyer, there's all this yellowness. It's very cheering. And I've got a teaspoon and a half of baking powder. So what's going on in London with all with food? Well. Really, I think we're beginning to catch up with you and your meatballs here, oh. and because they have never been really that big in London, really? oh. and now Meatball Mondays are starting in London, and uh, three uh, eggs, three extra eggs. large. Well, beautiful. I'm going to start adding these as you do that. I think. Oh you yes. Can... Okay. Don't be so sorry. I'm spilling it. But I mean, I think that in a way, in England is perhaps trying to sort of remember its regional. Cooking and then finally. we have oh, that's good. finally because you know, sometimes you go there and you couldn't find anything from the north. It's still you know, quite difficult. Could, oh. It's still harder, but you know the thing is, in a way, America's got such a great tradition of regional cooking and baking, particularly. Yeah, we certainly do. And we gave up too early on ours, and I'm rather glad. If I spill this on you, may I apologize Don't worry about now? It. Yep, no problem. I'm going to do the zest of two lemons. Oh, so that's and that's mm. all the lemon there is, no juice. Oh, uh, juice! Oh. I'm going to put in later, like oh, a syrup. Okay. You know, we have a very traditional English cake. Very good. That's it, right? Showing yeah. what's what. We have a very traditional cake called lemon drizzle cake, which is a lemon cake with yes. lemon juice and oh. just lemon juice and powdered sugar. And what I've done is really borrow, go half Italian. So since we met oh, in I Italy, see. I think that's yes, fair to do okay. that. Can I leave you to put that in the tin I, if I, I can, do yep. this? So okay. I've taken one of their cornmeal cakes their polenta cakes, and it gives it oh, a slightly okay. more robust texture. It sure does. It's so really while you're delicious. doing that, see, I've got the two lemon juices here, or the oh, juice of two so lemons. Oh, and you mix that with the sugar. Okay. Oh, I with mix it with powdered sugar here. I make a syrup. Now, what do you call that sugar in, in uh, England? Is icing that, sugar. Icing sugar. Okay. And what's more normal here, confectioner sugar or powdered sugar? Um, or is it the same? 10x. No. <laughs> no. It's yeah, 10x offering. confectioners or powdered. Right. Yeah, people, I think it's confectioners. People. Yeah. So this is um, a buttered and parchment lined. It certainly removable is. Removable bottom. And it's in a spring form. 350 okay. oven. I think about 40 minutes okay. should do it. So it's a nice batter. It's, it's a little gritty. That's that I love meal. the grittiness. And yeah. that's when the, and the, the lemon juice later, this lemon syrup, is really... Do you have an olive oil sense. cake in the book? I haven't in this book, but I have got in one book. And I've also do... I've got somewhere else, I've got a, what I do often in the fall, which is a walnut oil and apple cake. Oh, that sounds good. Mm. That's very Italian. They love yes. their walnuts in this time of year. So do you, are you going back to Italy soon? I hope so. Yes. Actually, I'm rather excited because I just had a, um, my f one, a book translated into Italian, which is oh, thrilled me more than I can say. Yeah, it was like once, once I, well, several times, but my, 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 my pies and tarts went into French. Oh, that was yes. a big thing. It isn't it? So yes. Basic. Yes, one that feels they, so that thrilled. That they deign to do that for an American, you know, it's fun. Mm. That is such but a good I'm going to let this bubble. Now, this is, so I, what I do is I prick the top of the cake when it comes out. Okay. You can see, you know, when it comes yep. away from the sides. Now, an Italian taught me that if you don't have a cake tester, because a skewer, I think, is just too big, they use a stick of spaghetti. Yeah, that's good. Isn't it? Oh, yeah. And that's as instead of a Very cake nice. tester. I do this. Not bucatini. No, that would not be right. Okay. We don't want macaroni either. And I am just going to pour this. Should we take, should we loosen the, the ring? Well, I no, wouldn't. No. Okay. Oh, let it Because I, I want okay. it to soak in right. like this. I mean, I can do, but so then it often goes a little, little pour. A little puddle. Yeah. Mmm, yummy. And it soaks in as it cools, and that's what gives you that custody. Center. Mm, yeah. Center, yes, that eggy custody center. Mm -hmm. And that's very good. I love it. Yes, very mesmerizing, isn't it? As yes. you watch it do that. And it's not and dripping out there. the bottom either. No, but it often oh, does. So we have to taste like, this. Yes, I'm going to let you cut the cake. Okay. So that is very beautiful.